Hi everyone, welcome back to Airgun Depot. My name is Emily and today we are talking about some of my favorite things. Most expensive, that is. Today we are going to be talking about the most expensive brake barrels that we sell here at Airgun Depot. And I am so excited to show these three guns to you. They're all pretty great. I'm a fan. So let's get started. First off, we have the Beeman R9. This particular model has adjustable iron sights and it's also available with the scope in a kit. I have the obviously non-scoped model here today. This is a single shot spring piston brake barrel with a 35 pound cocking weight and a total length of 42 and a quarter inches at an advertised speed of 935 feet per second and a total weight of 7.3 pounds. This gun is pretty light and pretty powerful. It does have a medium loudness rating of about three, so not enough to need hearing protection, but definitely enough that you might want it around your kids. The regular price for this particular model with the iron sights is $529.99. So this comes in 177 and 22 caliber. This particular version is the 177 version. The safety on this gun is right here. So there's a little red dot on the other side so you can see whether the safety is on or off. And all you do is push that until you hear the click. And once you hear that click, that means that you are ready to fire. So that was pretty easy for me to break on my own. Didn't need any help. So something nice about this gun is that it has an automatic safety on it. So as soon as you cock the gun, the safety clicks back on already for you. So you don't have to worry about turning it off and on every time. So I'm gonna take a couple shots at that target down there. So as you can see, it had a little recoil to it, but honestly, it wasn't that bad. I was able to hit the target all three times and I think that's pretty solid. Next up is the Viroc HW90. This is a gas piston brake barrel, and it's also a single shot, same as the last one. It has a 46 pound cocking effort, so a little bit more than the Beeman. Its advertised speed is 853 feet per second, and it weighs 8.82 pounds. You may also notice about the Viroc that it does indeed have iron sights on it, so it's ready to shoot right out of the box. With all the features that this gun has, it comes in at $834.99 for the regular price. So this gun is available in 22 caliber and 25 caliber. This is the 22 caliber version that I have here today. This one's definitely a little bit harder to cock than the Beeman, but again, I was still able to do it on my own. This one also has an automatic safety on it, just like the Beeman did as well, which I personally like because again, you don't have to keep turning it on and off. And especially if you're shooting with somebody, you know that that safety is gonna be on every time you hand that gun to that person. So again, just for consistency, I'm gonna be aiming at the biggest target that's out there, just like I did the last time. I was impressed with the way that this shoots. I could definitely hear more of a tang when it hit the target, and that tells me that this is a more powerful gun. Last on our list today is the Air Arms TX200 Ultimate Springer. This is the Hunter Carbine Laminate version, which means that it is slightly smaller and lighter than the regular version. I personally like this better because I prefer smaller, lighter guns since I am a smaller person. Something that's nice about this particular model is that it has an ambidextrous stock, meaning you can shoot it right-handed or left-handed. Not all stocks are like that, so that's really handy, especially if you're left-handed. This is a single shot spring piston brake barrel, similar to the other two. It is 9.7 pounds in weight without the scope, meaning it is a little heavier than the last two models we looked at. This model does not come with iron sights, so you will need a scope. Otherwise, you're not gonna really be able to shoot it. Advertised, this shoots 930 feet per second. And the regular version has a caulking weight of 29 pounds. I could not find specifically what the caulking weight for the carbine version was. Again, this has a loudness rating of medium. So same as the last two, you might want hearing protection for the little ones, but I will not be wearing it. Due to this being a carbine model and the fact that it has this beautiful laminate stock, this gun comes in at $15.99.99, making it our most expensive model of the day. So this gun comes in 177 and 22 caliber. This is the 22 caliber that I have here today. And if you'll notice, it's called a brake barrel, but if you see along the barrel, there's no way to actually break the barrel per se. There is a cocking lever right here. Um, so it's not a traditional style brake barrel, but we still list, list it as a brake barrel. So first you have to pull this out and it'll kind of separate a little bit. And then you gotta cock it. Honestly, in my opinion, I think this was the easiest out of all three of them to do. I think that's because this is shorter though and I am a smaller person. I'm not like a big six foot man. So I think it was easier for me to do even if it is a little bit more cocking weight. I turned it around so you could see it a little bit better, but the pellet goes in here 
and then you have this button on the side which you press and then you're able to just close it like that pretty simple similarly to the other two as well this gun also has an automatic safety on it right down here behind the scope and again for consistency i'm aiming at the biggest target Something that I think is important for me to mention is that I am a hobby shooter. I am not a competition shooter by any means. So I'm not necessarily showing you groupings or anything. I'm just showing you that I'm able to hit those targets just so you know these guns are pretty accurate out of the box. They're accurate enough that I can hit the center of that big target. It's enough that you can go out and have fun with it. Something I should mention as well is that these guns have not been sighted in. I have not sighted them in. So these are just the shots that I'm getting out of the box and I was able to hit the center of that big target as I mentioned so you know personally I think that that's good for me um, especially as someone who is not a fantastic Annie Oakley shooter so that's it those are our three most expensive brake barrels that we sell here at Airgun Depot which one did you like the best leave us a comment and let us know don't forget to like comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content like this see you next time